inside the Estadio Olimpico Metropolitano where Canada will take on Honduras Friday afternoon in what's essentially a do-or-die World Cup qualification match. Of course, Canada needs at least a draw to, to have a chance of extending its run in this World Cup qualifying campaign. Honduras looking to get a win uh, in order to uh, really make its last game against Mexico likely uh, irrelevant. Canada comes back here for the first time since losing 8-1 four years ago. A terrible night. A lot of the players here trying to avenge that loss. Some of the players still remain from that loss. Atiba Hutchinson, Julian de Guzman here, uh, although he will not play. He was in street clothes during training today. Milan Borjan as well. Kenny Stamatopoulos. A lot of guys still left over from that loss. In terms of lineups, Floro deployed something of a 4-3-3 today. It looked like De Jong at left back with James and Vittoria in the middle. Uh, and uh, and Dixon, kind of a surprise from the Ottawa Fury at right back. In front of him, David uh, David Edgar, Atiba Hutchinson, and Samuel Piet, with Hutchinson kind of playing deeper and pulling the strings up front. Junior Hoylet, Kyle Laren, and Tosain Ricketts. So uh, head coach Benito Floro definitely looking like he's going to try and uh, sit in, clog up the middle with three essentially holding midfielders and look to uh, look to catch Honduras the other way. In terms of pitch conditions, they, uh, they, they aren't too good. Um, Tosin Ricketts actually came out of the tunnel uh, before training. I asked him what he thought of the, of the pitch. He said it kind of felt like a mattress, very spongy, a lot of different grass types, uh, weeds, uh, clover, dead grass, real grass, uh, kind of strange. But, of course, Canada expects that down here in San Pedro Sula at the, uh, at the Estadio Olimpico. It's always been like this. The heat, it's going to play a factor unless it rains tomorrow. Very, very, very hot. Uh, I'm told there, uh, there could be water breaks tomorrow if the temperature reaches uh, a certain degree. That'll play into Canada's favor, but it, it really is going to come down to Canada. Uh, being tactically sound, Floro said uh, the way to get a win here or a result here is simply to come out and do the things he wants them to do, which is uh, be smart, not expend too much energy when they don't need to, uh, and then take advantage of opportunities the other way. Uh, Canada looking to avenge that horrible loss 8-1 four years ago. We'll see if they can do it. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Kurt Larson.